This video is about how to configure VLAN using Commando 2000-3000 series which is having Soldier OS. Let's start. VLAN is simply an administrative defined subset of switch ports that are in the same broadcast port domain. Ports can be grouped into different VLANs on a single switch and on multiple interconnected switches as well. By creating multiple VLANs, the switch creates multiple broadcast domain. By doing so, a broadcast sent by a device in one VLAN is forwarded to other devices in the same VLAN. However, the broadcast is not forwarded to the devices or the PCs or the laptop in other VLANs. So how to create or configure VLAN? Let us say I want to create VLAN 2 and VLAN 100. For that, configure terminal. VLAN 2 and 100 if I want to create. This way to create VLAN 2 and 100. If I want to name VLAN 100 to be VLAN for commando 1. So I can do that with the command VLAN 100. Name. VLAN commando 1. We can see this creation of VLAN by giving the command show VLAN. So these two VLANs are created VLAN 2. VLAN 2 with the default name and VLAN 100 with the name which we have just now created. We can set the VLAN mode to various ports like access trunk, tunnel and hybrid. So for that we have to go to particular interface, configure terminal. Let us say for interface G2, I want to make it switch port mode, switch port mode and I can have these four modes. Firstly, we will see the access mode. An access uh, port belongs to one VLAN only. Traffic arriving on access port is assumed to belong to a VLAN assigned to the port generally to that uh, VLAN. So let us say I want to assign the this port to the access and this access port uh, belongs to VLAN 2. Switch port access VLAN 2. By default all ports are in access VLAN 1. I, so you can verify it with the help of command show VLAN. So previously this port G2 was in VLAN 1. Now it is showing the members of VLAN 2. We can also configure the trunk port by giving the command uh, by going into interface configuration giving the command switch port mode trunk. This will make it as a trunk port. So trunk port allows multiple VLANs through it. Receive and send multiple VLAN packets typically used for connection between the switches. To set the trunk port uh, G2 to native VLAN 2 use the command switch port mode trunk and switch port trunk native VLAN 2. Switch port mode trunk native switch port mode trunk. So we can also allow some VLANs switch port trunk switch port trunk native VLAN 2. We can also allow some uh, VLANs for the trunk port, switch port trunk allowed VLAN add to. So we can add some ports. We can set the trunk port G2 membership with the default VLAN to tag. 
सो स्विच पोर्ट डिफॉल्ट विलन टैक्ट सो वी कैन ऑल्सो मेक दिस पोर्ट एज फोर बीडन फॉर डिफॉल्ट विलन स्विच पोर्ट फोर बीडन डिफॉल्ट विलन we can also create the hybrid ports for this interface hybrid port will allow multiple vlan through it receives and send multiple vlan packets used for connection between switches or computer pcs or laptop connected to that port so we can set the pvid and set the switch port mode to hybrid switch port mode hybrid and we can set the switch port hybrid pvid 100 we can also enable ingress filtering by giving the switch port hybrid ingress filtering uh, we can set the acceptable frame type to tagged only so switch port hybrid acceptable frame type tagged only can set the uh, this port to join the vlan 100 as a tag member so switch port hybrid allowed vlan add 100 we can uh, make this port as a tunnel port also tunnel ports are used in 802.1q tunneling to segregate the traffic of customer in service provider network from other customer who appears to be on the same vlan tunnel ports cannot be trunk ports or access ports and must belong to the vlan unique to each customer so to set the tunnel port for this port g2 and native vlan to 2 use the command switch port mode tunnel switch port tunnel vlan 2 we can also set the tp id uh, to let us say uh, 9100 on interface g2 so switch port vlan tp id Zero x nine one zero zero. We can uh, see the show interfaces for this VLAN. Show interface. G two. uh for uh, particular vlan we can see show vlan command we can also set the management vlan for a uh, particular uh, vlan so management vlan will be used for accessing the device by default vlan 1 is the management vlan so configure terminal vlan 1 management so vlan 1 by default is a management vlan and for other vlan we can create the uh, vlans for the management purpose so show management uh, vlan we can see uh, the management vlan show vlan interface vlan 2 interface g2 membership will show the membership of this port we can also create the voice vlan or auxiliary vlan typically mean same feature that allows an access port which normally only accept the untagged traffic or for the single vlan and also accept the tagged traffic for the second vlan to enable voice vlan configure uh, for vlan 2 configure terminal 
वॉइस वीलैन टू सो वीलैन टू इज क्रिएटेड फॉर और एनेबल्ड फॉर वॉइस वीलैन वी कैन एड द ओ यू आई मैप बाय गिविंग द कमांड वॉइस वीलैन ओ यू आई टेबल लेट अस से जीरो जीरो कोलन जीरो वन कोलन जीरो टू टेस्ट सो टेस्ट we can set the cost value 7 and remark function for this voice villain cost 7 and remark we can also set the aging time for this voice villain voice villain aging time let us say 720 so show voice villain will show the created voice villain and villain aging and cost and the status of the villain we can uh, enable the voice villain function on oeo mode on particular interface this way we have created the voice villain we have to apply to the interface so for that configure terminal interface uh, range let us say g325 voice villain we can also configure a uh, voice packet qs attribute so voice villain cos all we can also uh, make the voice villain more, more to manual mode manual so show voice villain interface g 3 and 5 will show the villain and its interfaces so you can say the states and port cost mode and all we can also create the protocol based vlan which help traffic uh, to be uh, routed with the help of uh, protocols you can use a protocol based vlan to define the filtering criteria for untac packet if you do not change of port configuration or configuration configure a port based protocol based vlan switch assign untapped packet to vlan 1 you can override this default behavior by defining port based vlans protocol vlans or both switch always process stack packet according to the 802.1q standard and does not forward them to protocol based vlan if you assign a port to the protocol based vlan for a specific protocol switch assign the protocol based vlan id to untack frame that it receives on the port for that protocol for other protocols switch assign the port vlan id to untack frames that receive on the port either the default pvid 1 or a pvid that you assign to the port you can define protocol based vlan by creating a group each group has a one to one membership with a vlan id and can include one to three protocol definitions and can include multiple ports when you create a group you must specify the name the the commando switch assign a group id automatically so protocol vlan for creating or configuring a protocol vlan use a commands configure terminal vlan protocol vlan group 1 frame type ethernet to protocol value 0x 806 we can create the group to also with the protocol value 800 so show protocol vlan will show show vlan 
protocol VLAN will show the created protocol VLANs. To configure protocol VLAN functions on specified interface, go for the command configure terminal interface G1 VLAN protocol VLAN group 1 and VLAN 2. Show protocol VLANs, show VLAN, protocol VLAN, interface G1 will show the status of the particular port. We can also create a, a reliable surveillance system for an existing network for mission critical heavy network traffic such as during mass transfer of data or broadcast terms and cause uh, the our surveillance video or mission critical video feeds to freeze and skip frame or even drop out completely. Surveillance VLAN technology with commando switches address the issue of how separate data and video on the single network is deployed. Surveillance VLANs allow quick and easy automatic creation of reliable hybrid network that can handle both data and surveillance traffic. By connecting surveillance equipment such as IP cameras and NVRs, VLANs for surveillance traffic and set quality of service for the traffic to high priority. This allows surveillance traffic to be secure and ensures that surveillance videos continues to stream smoothly and reliably even during the periods of heavy data traffic. So how to enable the surveillance VLAN? For that configure terminal surveillance VLAN to set the surveillance VLAN ID use the command surveillance VLAN VLAN let us say 100 so VLAN 100 is assigned as a surveillance we can add surveillance OEA also surveillance OEA table say 00 colon 01 colon 02 and the name of this surveillance OVA test is created. We can also set the cost value to 7 for having priority for this traffic with uh, remark option. We can also set the aging time for surveillance VLAN. Aging time, let us say 720. Show surveillance VLAN will show the enable survey, uh, enabled uh, surveillance VLAN. So this 100 is a surveillance VLAN ID which we have created. To enable the surveillance VLAN function in OUI mode on particular interface, configure terminal, go to the particular interface, let us say interface range G123 surveillance VLAN we can also configure the surveillance packet QS attributes for this interface is so for that surveillance VLAN cos all we can also configure surveillance VLAN mode to manual surveillance VLAN mode manual by giving the command show surveillance VLAN interface G123 will show the status of the ports for used for configuring surveillance VLAN. So VLAN are the most important and creative things which you can do with your switches to uh, segregate, separate or create different broadcast terms for the users. Thank you.